Patuloy naman na nadagdagan ang tinamaan ng diarrhea sa North Cotabato. Nagprosidibo pa ang ilan sa abidiasis pero hanggang ngayon, wala pang resulta ang pagsusuri kung ang tubig nga ba ang sanhi ng sakit. Namatay ang isang bata sa Minalabak, Camarines Sur dahil sa sakit. Ayon sa Provincial Health Office, posibleng tinamaan ng amibiasis ang dalawang taong gulang na biktima. Nagpositibo naman sa amibiasis ang mahigit limampung tinamaan ng diarrhea. While at least eight species of entamoeba can infect humans, only one can cause invasive disease. This protozoan parasite is known as Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica is the cause of amebiasis, an infection of the intestines. If it invades the colon wall, it can cause ulcers, acute dysentery, or chronic diarrhea. The amoeba starts its life cycle as a free living cyst in the water. The intestinal wall feeds and then re-insists. When the cyst passes out of the body into the water, the life cycle is complete. When a human drinks contaminated water, the cyst enters the gut. It's a free living cyst. Here, the amoeba emerges from the cyst through the tissue. From there, it travels in the blood to the liver. But in rare cases, the entamoeba histolytica will actually attack the intestinal wall, eating through the tissue. From there, it travels in the blood to the liver. Here, the entamoeba feeds on the liver cells, thus creating an abscess of dead material liquefying the liver. Transmission of this parasite can also occur during anal sex or colonic irrigation. People who have traveled to such locations and people with weak immune systems and other health problems are at a higher risk of acquiring this infection. It can lead to severe illness and, in some cases, even death. The World Health Organization estimates that 50 million people worldwide suffer from invasive amoebic infection each year. It is difficult to know for sure since, again, 90% of infected individuals are asymptomatic. With a fatality rate of 2% in adults and 26% in children, entamoeba histolytica is a threat more common to tropical areas with crowded conditions and poor sanitation. The incidence of amebiasis is higher in developing countries. Entamoeba infection is as high as 50% in parts of Central and South America, Africa, and Asia. In the U.S., disease is more prevalent among those who live in communal settings, as well as travelers to endemic areas. In one study, 10% of individuals returning with diarrhea were found to have amebiasis. Symptoms appear within a week after ingestion of the contaminated food. Symptoms of amoebiasis include fatigue, which is a feeling of tiredness distinct from weakness. Another is weight loss. It is, in the context of medicine, reduction of the total body mass due to mean loss of fluid, body fat, or adipose tissue, and or lean mass. Some of its examples are the bone, mineral deposits, muscle tone, and others. Another symptom is dysentery, an inflammation of the intestine. Sometimes, symptoms could also be asymptomatic, where the patient is a carrier of the disease or infection. Another is hematokiza, which is the passage of fresh blood through the anus, usually in or with stools. Another is abdominal pain. It is a common symptom associated with transient disorders. Another is amoeba, also known as amoebic granuloma. It is a rare complication of entamoeba histolytica infection. It is the response to the infecting amoeba. There is formation of annular granules. If you have some of these symptoms, consult a doctor for proper diagnosis and treatment. As an adjunct treatment, you can also try some simple home remedies to fight the parasites, ease symptoms, and prevent the condition from becoming life-threatening. Here are the best home remedies for amoebiasis. 1. Increase fluid intake. To prevent dehydration, make sure to drink plenty of fluids throughout the day. At the same time, fluids will help keep your system clean, thus making your body less suitable for parasitic organisms. 2. Coconut Coconut is a strong antiparasitic agent that can fight the parasites that cause amoebiasis. In addition, it boosts your immune system to fight against pathogens. 3. Garlic 
The antibiotic and antiparasitic properties of garlic help rid your body of harmful parasites and prevent their recurrence. In addition, it stimulates your immune system to help your body fight the infection. Eat two or three raw garlic cloves on an empty stomach daily for a few weeks. 4. Apple Cider Vinegar Apple cider vinegar is another effective treatment for amebiasis. It helps maintain the body's pH level, making your body uninhabitable for the parasites that cause this infection. 5. Pumpkin Pumpkin pulp and the seeds can treat amebiasis by eliminating the parasites as well as the tiny pestering eggs. Their anti-inflammatory property helps protect the intestinal lining damaged by the parasites. 6. Turmeric The antiseptic, antibacterial, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric make it another effective home remedy. It helps eliminate harmful parasites from the body, protects tissues from damage, prevents inflammation in the intestine and boosts the immune system to fight the infection. Add a pinch of salt to one teaspoon of raw turmeric juice. Drink it on an empty stomach once daily for one to two weeks. 7. Eat fiber-rich foods. Include more fiber-rich foods in your diet. Fiber helps cleanse the intestines where the parasites thrive. It also ensures proper and regular bowel movements, which encourages the body to expel waste products. Eat high-fiber foods like beans, cucumbers, tomatoes, beetroots, carrots, pears, broccoli, peas, brown rice, apples, prunes, Wheat germ, sunflower seeds, nuts and whole grain products. Treatments for amoebiasis include diloxanadine furuate, a luminal amoebicide used in the treatment of amoebiasis. Another is oral rehydration therapy, a type of fluid replacement used as a treatment for dehydration. Metronidazole, a synthetic nitromidazole derivative. Another is emetin, both an antiprotozoal and used to induce vomiting. Another is chloroquine. Those are the treatments used for amoebiasis.